Hello guys, I hope everyone is doing well. For all my new viewers, welcome here. And for all my returning viewers, welcome back. Now, Valentine's Day is about one week out from day of recording. So I thought I'd show you how to make something heart themed. Now, I think for Valentine's two years ago, I showed you how to make a heart, like a red heart. I can put a link to that one in the description below. Because this time we're doing the exact opposite. We are going to be making a heart shaped hole instead. So this is going to consist out of two pieces, the front piece here, which has a hole in it, and then a back piece. And then we're going to crochet along the edge on both pieces, and then finally stitch them together. This is just a test piece that I made in this green color, but I think it's kind of important to have contrasting colors, because yeah, that makes it easier to see the heart. So yeah. Before we get started, we need to gather some supplies. First and foremost, we need some yarn. And I'm using two red colors here, two tons of red. And since we're working with two pieces, it's kind of important that they have the same thickness. Otherwise, yeah, this might warp in the end. So try to stay roughly in this, within the same thickness of the yarns. We're going to be needing a crochet hook. And I'm going to be using this 3.5 millimeter hook, since it's suitable for the yarn. We are going to be needing some kind of needle to attach the ends, and a pair of scissors to cut stuff. So let's get started. For row one, we are going to make a slip knot, and then we're going to chain 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So that's going to be our first row. Now for row two, we are going to go back along this, this line of chains, but we're going to double crochet. So we need some more stitches here. So we're going to make two. We're going to go through this one as the first stitch on our way back. So we're going to make two, one, two chains here. I know some people make three chains and that's up to you, but I think it kind of gets too messy out here. So I, I like to stick with two if I just double crochet. So with those, we yarn over and we go through this stitch. And this is going to be our first stitch going back. So there we go. We are over again. And we are going to find the second that's here. Chain. We pick up and go through. So that's two double crochet. And we're going to make in total 24. Since we made 24 chains, we're going to make 24 double crochet going back here. So we're just gonna keep going the same way or over and we make the next double crochet in the next chain. And then the next one. And so on and so on. Yeah, I think you get the idea. I didn't even count that loud here, but it's just going to be double crochet all the way back here. This is just going to be a regular row. So I'm just going to finish this and I will meet you here in just a second when I'm done. So there we go. That is the second row down. It's 24, uh, it's two chains and then 24 double crochet. So the third row is going to be just a simple two chains. I turn and then, oh, I yarn over. And we're going to go back the same way we came with double crochet for the same row count. So that was one and this is two. And as you might have noticed, I don't really count the chains here. I do sometimes when I double crochet, at least into like circles. But on a straight piece like this, I think it looks better uh, not to. I'm going to show you a trick when we get to the end of this row. But other than that, just keep going here with double crochet all the way to the end, and I will meet you there. So there now we're at the end of row three, and here we have, now we have the chains here, 
and the last stitch is here. And if we go through here in this actual stitch, we're going to get a bit of a hump out here. So what I do on pieces like this is I actually skip the real stitch and I go into the two top, uh, or I mean I go into the top chain here. And I make my double crochet in there. This will cause a bit of a bigger gap there, but it's not really going to be noticeable. And it's better compared to having a lump out on each row here. So I don't really count the chains as a stitch, but I don't really use the last stitch, if that makes sense. So this is row four. We're going to start the same way. We chain two, then we turn. Then I make a double crochet in the first stitch here. And then we're going to go ahead and make nine more double crochet. Because this on this row is where we start to build the heart. So that's two in total, and we're going to have ten. So three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. There we go. It's just a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So that's ten double crochet. And now we're gonna make a decrease. And I'm going to make the decrease like this. I go through like I'm doing your regular double crochet. Then I yarn over, still regular double crochet, but I stop here. Then I make a second one. Same thing. Just take the first two. Now we have three loops on the hook. I yarn over and pull through all three. So then we get a nice thick, or how do you say, ungappy decrease down here. So that was row through one, two, three, four. So for row five, we are going to chain three. Because now we're going to make, I don't know what it's called really, a triple crochet maybe? Uh, like a double crochet, but with two loops. So we start like this. And because now we are going to make a decrease in three stitches. So to avoid getting this being like pinched together, we make the triple crochet in the first stitch here. So I, I repeat that. I will yarn over twice like that. Then I go through the first stitch here. I pick up yarn and I pull through. Then I pick up yarn and I pull through like that. And we stop here because this is one more of those decreases, but the rest of the two is just going to be regular double crochet. So we stop there. Yarn over, go through, pick up, pull through two loops, and we stop there. Now we have four loops on the hook. We have two loops, one from the double crochet, one from the double crochet, and one from the triple crochet, and then the start chain. And this spans over three stitches. And now once we have these four, I yarn over, and I pull through all four. And you see, all, this, all these four will generate this one stitch here. So that's what we're after. And then we complete the row with double crochet the rest of the way. And that's going to be eight double crochet. So that was one. This is two. This is three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and the last one, I do the same thing. I go through the chain at the top and make my double crochet there for the straight edge. So here we go, that was row five. Now for row six, we are going to chain two. We're going to turn. 
and we're going to make six double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we can make our next decrease and once again it's going to be one two three stitches decreased into one and it's going to be the same as on last row except for the chains and in reverse so not at all the same so we start by making the double crochet but without pulling through we make a second double crochet also let me repeat that we make a double crochet without pulling through the last time and then a second double crochet without pulling through the last time so now we have three loops and a hook and now we're going to make another i don't know if it's called triple crochet maybe so i yarn over twice and then we're going to find the top stitch here or if it's um, yeah we're just going to find the top stitch like that so we go through our first and then our second so now once again we have four loops here on the hook we yarn over and pull through and then this looks like a bit of a gap now but this will just lay like that once we have the next row or in rows above it so this gap will almost not be visible so there we go that was row let's see now six i suppose yeah six now this is row seven this is going to be another one of those uh three to one rows and this is going to be the last one we have on this side we start by chaining three we turn i yarn over twice i go through this first stitch here We go through it twice we go through the second stitch we make our start of a double crochet but we don't go through and then same thing here in stitch three so now we have four loops on the hook i yarn over and i go through all four there we go so now we can finish this and it should be one two three four left so four double crochet so one Two, three, and once again I go through the top chain here. There we go. So that was row seven. Now for row eight, we are going to chain two, turn. Make a double crochet in the first stitch here. And then we are going to make two more double crochet. So one and two. now we're going to make a decrease and this time it's a regular decrease two double crochet to one instead of three so we yarn over go through and go to here i do the same thing on the next one aim for the top chain here do the same thing now with three loops i yarn over and i pull through there we go this is to start to form it up against the, the corner here so now it's going to be two simple rows row nine we chain two we turn and we're going to make four double crochet so no decreases no nothing so one two three And once again, I go through the chain. So four. And now row 10, same thing, chain two. 
turn. And we're going to make four double crochet. Once again, chains instead of stitch. There we go, that was row 10. This is row 11. Now we're gonna start to increase in the other direction to kind of shape the heart. Because now we have, we have the wall here and now we're gonna shape it over to start to shape it over in this direction. This is going to be starting on an increase, so we start by chaining two, and then we start with an increase, but just a you know two double crochet into one and not the three one. So I yarn over and I make two double crochet here in the first stitch, and when increasing I go all the way through and make the full double crochet, and then I just make a second one in the same stitch. There we go. And now we have three left, so we double crochet in the remaining three. One, two, and the third, once again, go through the chains. There we go. Now we are going to pause this. We are going to continue from here. But on the next row, we need something to attach onto when we reach out into here. So we need to build this side up first before we can continue here. And now we need to move the source of yarn. So I pulled out like nine feet, or what's that? That's three meters. And we're going to cut this because that amount should be enough to finish this once we come back to this side again. So I take the piece like this with start tail to the left here. And now I have the source of yarn here, the one I just cut. And we're going to go through. This is the last stitch in where we, uh, where we turned on the last, uh, on this piece. So now we're going to go through the next stitch here. We're going to start by pulling through from this source, then we slip stitch, and now we're going to make two chains. And since it started on decrease here, we're going to start on decrease here. But now we have the chains here, and I'm just going to ignore them and like not treat them as a real stitch. So I go through the same stitch here and make a double crochet only up to here. Then I make a second double crochet in the next. Same thing here, only up to there. So now I have three loops and a hook. The chains and the two double crochet starts. And I yarn over and I pull through all three. So now that we have this decrease, we are going to make double crochet for the rest of the row. And that's going to be 10 double crochet here. So that was one. This is two. This is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten here in the top chains. Or top chain, rather. There we go, now for row five, we are going to chain two, we turn, and we're going to make double crochet at the start here, eight double crochet to be exact. So that this is two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Now we have three stitches left here. One, two, three. And this is going to be another one of those in decreases with three to one. So we start like on the other side with a double crochet start, but we stop here. A second double crochet start, but we stop here. And then we are over twice. And we go through the top chain here. And we pull through once and twice. Now we have four loops on the hook. We yarn over and we pull through all four. There we go. So that was row five. Now for row six, it's going to be another decrease, three to one. So we chain three. And then I yarn over twice. I start here in the first stitch. I pull through twice. Then we start with a regular double crochet start. Pull through once. Second, uh, same thing on the next stitch. There we go. And we should have four loops on the hook. We yarn over and pull through. Now we should have six left. I think one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, six stitches left. And those are going to be double crochet. one this is two this is three this is four five and the last one here in the top chain This is row seven. We're going to chain two. We're going to turn and we're going to make four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And this is the last one of these three to one uh, decreases. So we start like a uh, double crochet, stop there. Same thing in the next, stop there. Yarn over twice, go through the top chain here. <laughs> if I can find it, there we go, I think, yeah. And we pull through once. And twice. There we go. So now with four loops here, I yarn over and I close it. So there we go. Now it's just going to be a regular decrease. So I chain two, I turn, I start. Ah, that's the uh, same thing as down here. Uh, we start as if I'm making a double crochet without pulling the last one. Do the same thing in the next stitch with three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we should have three double crochet left. So one, two, and three, we go through the chains out here. There we go. Now it's going to be row nine and 10. Same thing as on the other side, we chain two, and then we're going to make four double crochet. So one, two, three, and the fourth I put in the chains here. Same thing on the next row, chain one, turn. And then we make one, two, three. 
three. Four. So there we go. Now we're up to the same spot on both sides up here. No, we're not. Sorry. Row 11 as well. We are going to chain two. We're going to turn and we're going to double crochet three times and then we're going to make an increase. There we go. Now we're up to the same point. So now we can actually chain one here to have it as a lock and then we can cut this off. Because now we are going to be picking up this side again. And we're gonna work and make some chains and some stuff here in the middle and then reattach to this side. So we're back here on this side again, the first side we made. And we're gonna start this row 12 by chaining two. And then we're gonna make four double crochet. So one. Two, three, and four. Now we're going to make a triple increase in the last stitch here, but we are not going to make a triple crochet. We're going to stick with a regular double crochet increase, but with three double crochets. So we find the chains here, or in this case, you might actually get away with going through the stitch since it's going to be full. We make two and then a third in the same stitch. There we go. So now we are going to chain three, one, two, three, and then to have something to attach to, we're going to take out a small piece of yarn here and we're going to make a regular slip knot like this. And we keep it fairly small, maybe like this. And this is the tricky part. Now we are going to double crochet into this slip knot. We have to make sure that the first one is not too loose and not too tight. So I try to keep everything in place with my thumb here and I go through, turn over, and that, and then once more. There we go. Yeah, I think that's gonna be okay. So we go ahead and make three more double crochet into the slip stitch here. Oh, sorry, into the slip knot here. or slip knot loop. So that's three, and then a fourth. And then we make three more chains. So one, two, three. Now we take up this side, and we can actually just leave this here at the front, this tail here, because we can attach this with a needle later, so we won't have to bother, or um, we won't have to think about it for now. And now we are going to make the same kind of increase here, as we did on the other side. So it's going to be three double crochet into the stitch. And this is going to be hard to do somewhere other than here. So it's just going to be here. We have no chains here and this knot is too small. So we're just going to go through the real stitch here. And make... Now you see, that was too long. We kind of need to keep it... 
Let's try this. One. Ah, that's going to be all right. And then two. And then three in the same stitch. So there we go. And now we're going to have one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So four. So one. Two. Three. And the fourth. So there we have it. You can almost start to see the shape of the heart here. That was row 12. Now we only have two rows left. This is going to be row 13. So we chain one, we turn, and now we're going to make 24 double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we should reach the chains. So we go ahead and make double crochets right into them as well. So it should be seven, eight, nine, and this is the tenth. Here on the last chain, since we have three of them, And the 11th here is in the first of the double crochets, the 12th in the second, and so on. Now we reach the chains again. Be tricky sometimes to find the correct loop to go through here. This should be the last chain here, and now split the yarn. And now we should be have seven left here. That's two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh we put in the chains again. There we go. Now we have a row. So now we can actually go ahead and close this. You can actually do it like this. You see we have it here. So we find the tail. Yeah, that's the one. So we're going to pinch this together. And then we tighten the slip knot. Real good. And that will create our point up there. See it's starting to shape here, the heart shape. So now for the last row, row 14. It's going to be as simple as the last one. We chain two, and then we're going to double crochet all the way across here. So one. Two, three, four, 
3. Uh, I'm just gonna do this off camera, it's just double crochet. It should be a total of 24 and we're just going from there to here. And I'll meet you up here, uh, right at the end. There we go, that was row 14 and the final row. And I just finished the last double crochet up here. So we can go ahead and chain one, just to lock it. Cut this off. And pull the yarn through here. So that's all we're going to be making with that color. Uh, now we're going to make the side uh, or this side stitching here and the back piece and that back piece is side stitching. But we start here because this looks like a mess now. So we're going to start by attaching all the tails and weaving them in somewhere. We take out the needle and I'm going to start up here. And all right, when I have um, the piece like this, if the start tells to my left and then tail, I see, then this is going to be the end facing me. So this is going to be the outside when I have the tail to the left. So I'm going to put all of these ends on the back side here. This one, we don't want poking into the line here. So I'm going to go through like this and pull it in. Then I work it up through these stitches and over to the back. And I will keep it away from the line here. But once we have it on the back side here, we can just go through one loop somewhere. And then go through to lock it. And then we work it in somewhere here. Like so. And then we cut it off. And we pull it in. We can go down here and take this one. And this one needs to be pulled and tied to something because otherwise this will go, uh, this will be um, go loose over time. So we make a knot down here, make sure this is pulled. Yeah. And then as soon as we know, close and pull it closed. And we make it, we can make a second knot next to it just to be sure it's going to be kept in place. And we cut it off. And these up here, make sure it's tight. We're just going to take one at a time and try to work them in best as we can. Now, I don't know if you can hear, but <laughs> there's a helicopter hovering outside. I don't know for how long it's going to be there, but in case it comes through in the audio, I'm sorry, that's a helicopter. They're probably looking for some someone who did something wrong, I would suppose. That was the first and we can't pull these too tight because we don't want this to be pulled up. So we kind of want this to be pointy like that. 
once we have it up here. We work it into the top row here. Like so. We cut off the rest. We take the second one here from the point and we do the same thing and just force it up somewhere here. On the back side. Not too tight, same thing here. We don't want the point to be pulled up. And we work this as well into the back here. We'll go out somewhere. And we cut it off. There we go. That was the first the front piece. It's pretty much done. We are going to crochet around this, and so I don't, I don't even attach these now. I'm just going to crochet around them when we go uh, around here. So that's the next step. So now we're going to crochet around this piece, and I'm going to do that with the brighter red yarn that I showed you before. And I'm not going to crochet in every single stitch here. We're going to go with single crochet and then a chain, and we're going to alternate between them. But since this is a even number, we have 24 stitches here on this side. That's an even number, so this won't add up. So we're going to have to resort to using the chains out here as a stitch in this case. So we're going to turn in this chain, the top one here. And the turn here will come in the real stitch, so that will give us 25, so then that will make the math work. And down here we'll just have to fudge it, since we don't... Yeah, okay, we can use these changes probably. No, uh, these chains probably. So we're probably gonna have to end up using these chains here as well. We're gonna start like this. I hold the piece, because I decided that this is the front. This is gonna be outside. So I hold it with the start tail to the left. And I count from the left here in a few stitches. So we know we want to end on a single crochet. That means this is chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet. So we're going to start here. We're going to go through with the hook. Then we're going to pick up the bright red, make a slip stitch, chain one. Now this is going to act as our first single crochet up here. So the next stitch is a chain. So we just chain one more, and then we go through, we skip this, and we go through this. And we make it single crochet, like so. And this will, uh, this looks weird now, but this will look better once we come up here and reattach. Once again we chain, we skip this, and we go through the next, for a single crochet. Then we chain, we go through the next, uh, oh I'm sorry, we skip the next, and we go through the next one. And we single crochet. So now we're at this corner. Now the trick here to get a good corner is to chain not once but twice. Then we're going to put a single crochet here in the same stitch but from this direction. Like so. Now we have a sharp corner. We're going to proceed doing the same thing but these are double crochet rows. We chain one after the single crochet, and we're gonna find, you see here, where these lines are. We're gonna find that and go here just in between the rows and put a single crochet. Then we chain one. And also, I hold the tail, the end tail here, alongside and work it in as I go along. So now we're here. Now we are going to go through, see there is a stitch here, like uh, on this line, 
we are going to go there and single crochet once again chain and we find these again these are the same here the notches we go through that row and single crochet chain one dropped it there So we chain one, we go through the next, where are we, here are we, somewhere here, yeah, there it is, chain one, we go through the notches, and we chain one, and we single crochet again, you see I go in between the rows, on each row, Let's redo that one. Trick here is also to be even. Always go through on the same spot. Let's move that out of the way. There we go, that looks better. So chain one again, and then we find the next candidate here. Yep, chain one. Find the next row, chain one, find the next row, and somewhere where we feel comfortable, we're just gonna let this go, the tail, like in the middle here, because this is just to keep it out of the way in place, or rowing in, whatever. So once it's secured like it is now, I will just drop it. And we keep on going all the way down along the piece, the same manner, chain one, then single crochet in between the rows. And we're heading up to the corner here. There we go, so now we're at the corner, chain one. Now we go through the bottom here, the, the chains from the starter row. And this is going to be our front side. I just, when I reach this, I just make sure that this knot here doesn't poke through to the front. Like so. And that was our single crochet in the corner. So now, same thing down here. We chain two. Then I turn to this same stitch still into here and we keep the start tail here on top to weave it in we make a single crochet in this direction so now we have a sharp corner here and we can proceed doing the same thing down here we chain one we skip this and we go into the next keeping the start tail with us to Weave it in. Same thing, chain. Skip one, go into the next. Chain. Skip one, go into the next. Chain. Skip one. Go into the next. Chain. Skip one, go into the next. Skip to one to many there. And once we get a, a web it in like this, we just drop this and let it hang. And we're going to cut it off later. Should be this stitch. Yep. So we just keep on going like this. All the way to the end.
and this is what I mean down here. This is the last stitch, but then we won't skip, so we'll just go in here into the corner instead. Or the maybe the first chain like this that will work too. You see now we get the skip, so now we can turn, so we chain two. And then we single crochet into the same stitch here. Yep, show you that stitch. To get a sharp corner. Then we chain one. And we keep going in between the double crochet rows here. That was not in between. Yeah, actually it was. So there. And we chain one. We skip the next. And we move to the next in between rows. Chain one, same thing. And we keep going like this. Now we'll reach the end here. Remember I mentioned this is even, so we need to go through the top stitch uh, in the chain here, or the top chain. And use that as our corner. Then make one single crochet in that one, then we chain two, and then we go through the same corner stitch for a single crochet. There we go, and now we're back up to where we started, or at least the line. So now we're going to continue this line, same way, we chain one, we skip, and in this case we skip the first real stitch here, and we make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, And before we know it, we're going to be back here, right back where we started. There we go, so now we're right back here, and you see we have the gap here, as planned. So we chain one, and now, pull this down, we go not through the f first, yeah, actually we do. You see, this is now our fake single crochet, so we go through this stitch, the chain here, and we slip stitch. If I can, yeah, there we go. That was not good, let's redo. Go through the chain, pick up, and slip stitch, there we go. So there we go, that's our front piece completed. And we can go ahead and cut off these because we know they are secured now. So I pull this in a bit, see like this, whoop, and then I cut them and I pull them into the work. Same thing here, pull it in a bit, cut it off and pull it in. And we can go ahead and pull this through. All right, we need to cut it off first, of course. We cut this off and we pull it through. Tighten this down. We can take out the needle again. We're gonna thread the needle. We start with the start tail that we made here for the edge. 
make sure it's pulled tight here and then we go through a stitch nearby we're going to make a knot here pull the knot closed and then pull through to keep it secure here and if we want to we can go through a second stitch nearby and do the same thing just to be sure it's going to be secured here we go we go up into the red here and just work this tail in like out here over to the edge and we cut this off and pull it in start with the next one and for this we are Let's see which is our outside now. This is our outside. That's good. For this one, we are just going to first transfer the tail to the back side here, and then we can just work this back and forth here a few times to keep it locked. Like so, and then we transfer it to the back. And I weave this through a few stitches here all the way to the corner. And then I cut it off. So that's the front side of the heart piece all finished and this is going to conclude the first part of this video series in the next part we're going to make the back side and i will show you how to stitch them together so i will see you in part two if you liked what you saw here please feel free to leave a like and if you want to see more crafty and crochet tutorial videos don't be afraid to subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one thank you bye